Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I have another book review to do, and I just wanted to get this done real quick so I can get on to my next book. Um, but I am continuing with a very good uh, feel-good series, one that kind of kept me company in my youth, and I'm just rereading to, I don't know, enjoy my past a bit. So the book review that I'm going to do today is from the Thoroughbred series. It's number five, Ashley's Dream by Joanna Campbell. And the last time I had this book, it was a much smaller book than all the other ones of the series, and this looks to be the, the proper size, so I totally enjoy that. Um, in this book, we get a few things. First of all, we get the regular racing scene and, and a, you know, a family coming together to raise another mare or another filly on the racing scene. Um, but we're introduced to a new character called Samantha, whose mother had died in a racing accident, so their father is no longer allowing them to, or allowing her to race, and her struggle through that, even though she desperately wants to ride, and the father is saying no. Um, written in, in such a context that, you know, children will understand. So I thoroughly enjoyed that part. Um, I enjoyed being introduced to a new um, horse character, Fleet Goddess, who I guess is um, uh, mentioned in another book that I think she wrote about called Battle Cry. Um, so it, it's just an all in all really good book. There's a twist in the end that kind of makes me wonder about how the future is going to go with Ashley. Um, I do want to say, though, that it went from Ashley's horse winning the last race to um, Wander giving birth to a foal, and the reason why she was retired so early was because there was an injury in her leg. Um, I would have really liked to have read about that part, about her getting injured and, and getting bred and the selection of the stallion and that kind of stuff in um, the context of Joanna writing it. So I kind of felt like I missed something there because all the other series of the books was finished of one story goes right into the next story. Um, but I guess that's not, not a huge thing. I got a few red flags in this, in this book uh, for one of the characters. I'm not going to mention who that person is, but I'm wondering if that person has a, a limited future in this series. Now, I don't remember the series perfectly well. I know I've read it before, but I... I think this character doesn't do what I'm thinking, but I don't know. Anyway, um, let me read the back of it to you uh, to let you know what I'm getting into, what you're getting into when you read this. And to all of you guys who grew up on horse books, um, how many of you guys read the Thoroughbred series? Because um, I, I really enjoyed it. So here we go. Can Samantha ride Fleet Goddess to victory? When Ashley's horse, Wander, gives birth to a beautiful foal, Ashley is thrilled. She's raising Wander's colt, racing as an apprentice jockey, and she's even looking out for young Samantha McLean. Samantha moved to Townsend Acres when her father and her mother, with her father after her mother had died in a riding accident. When Ashley buys a filly named Fleet Goddess, Samantha helps train the horse. Samantha loves horses, but since their mother's death, her father has forbidden her to ride. Then Ashley is injured, and Fleet Goddess can't, can't train. Samantha is desperate to take over. Is there any way she can convince her father to let her risk riding again? And you know what? It, it's just, it's a really good book. And I think all of you guys who have any kind of reading slumps that you're dealing with, um, it's like 188 pages all through. Good book, quick read. One that I think you should look into. So thank you very much, guys, for listening to, to me do my review about Thoroughbred. I will let you know when I have another book read. Have a great day, guys.